Hello everyone, I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and the time has come to make this look like a tiny bit more than a one-page website. Remember we're using this skeleton CSS framework and we can uh, check the details again by option command U on the Mac for view source. We search and I know it's being broken down by columns and that looks like a pretty uh, easy system there. We take any element and then we just add a class to it with this nice simple naming system. There's probably more to skeleton than just that, but I'll start simple. So I go to my text editor and I vim index.html and uh, currently I've got the div wrapped around all my content. And I think I'm just gonna copy that div, dd for delete, and paste it there to just surround the headline elements. So we'll do a save. And uh, I'll just jump right into this. I don't really need that uh, second video for this example. It'll be cleaner to look like without it. But I am adding navigation, which in HTML5 is delightfully NAV. And uh, I'll add an anchor text in here, a href equals, and I'll just make it the pound sign right now for an empty bookmark. And I'll say journal and anchor text and nav. Now that nav should be able to be uh, styled with a class just like any other element. So we'll say class equals uh, it's a 16 column system. I'm going to make a left rail navigation. I'll say two columns. And uh, the paragraph is surrounding an iframe right now. And, uh, well, 16, 15, 14, I'm gonna make it centered so that I'll have the option for some uh, right rail navigation as well. So that makes this 12. Class equals, uh, yeah, 12 columns. Let's see if the skeleton framework is as straightforward and simple as it appears. I'll add, I'll add one more. And this time I'll do a div because I don't know particularly what I want this function to be, but I do know it needs a class equals two columns. And uh, just for the sake of seeing something there, I'll put foo in and div. Could it be that simple? This should center the video in the middle, set me up for left rail navigation, I'll save it, and then have foo set up for right rail navigation. Go to browser, refresh, ah, unclosed tag, but very close. It's one of those aligned centers. Yes, of course. I prematurely closed my tag. Hate when that happens. Fresh. Okay, um, so I'll be able to line stuff up down here, but this is that uh, skeleton framework with uh, responsiveness, so I'm going to see what happens when I shrink this down. Hmm, exactly as expected. I might do something for that iframe to maybe resize with me. I've seen that done in examples, but for the most part, that was one successful demo. Let me click on journal. I think it's too much right now to actually add that file, but the next tutorial will be taking advantage of the uh, base file inheritance for a probably a journal.html. Um, as usual, I'll finish this out with a uh, whoops, new version of Java. Go ruining my demo, will you? Quit out. Uh, git status, git 
commit am added nav git push. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining me and share this video if you think it's worth sharing and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you soon.